Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be talking about load balancer concept. So basically we are going to create two web servers and then we'll be using the load balancer to distribute the traffic evenly. So these are the two uh, web servers that we have created, but we'll be seeing how these are created and we'll be also looking into the load balancer configurations that we have done. So initially let's talk about load balancer. So basically the load balancer evenly distributes incoming traffic uh, from users or the devices to multiple servers, ensuring that they share the workload efficiently. So this improves performance, reliability and scalability of the website and the applications. So that is reason we have created two uh, web servers and let's see how these uh, you know, traffic is evenly distributed using that load balancer. So initially let's go ahead and launch the instance. So we'll just see uh, one uh, uh, instance. So yeah, the configuration will be same for the second one. So you can just uh, add it as the web server three. And you can select, uh, you know, Amazon Linux, or you can select Ubuntu. And if you have a key pair, you can select it. You can just leave it as default. And uh, let's allow the traffic. So basically you can just edit it and select the VPC. If you want to select the subnet, you can select the specific subnet that you want. So in this case, uh, I can select as 1C and make sure it's enabled security groups. So if you already have an existing security group, you can select from here. So you can select here and select the existing group. So we have multiple uh, groups here. So let me select uh, one of the group from here. So I'm just selected uh, wizard six delete four. So basically it's nothing but it, uh, it's the same that we have created before. So we are allowing all the HTTP, uh, HTTPS and SSH. So saying that uh, it's done, let's go down and uh, coming to the advanced details, we have to paste uh, the script. So let me add that script. So this is the script that we have to add. So here it's web page one. So whenever uh, you use this public IP, you will be uh, you'll be able to see this uh, web page one, which is in this location, you know, where www slash HTTP and index HTML. So we are using uh, uh, this index HTML page. So saying that, let's launch. So this is how we have created those two web servers. And let me go back. So basically it's still in, uh, uh, provisioning state. Let's check web server one. So this is the public IP and uh, let's see if we can access the website as yes, we can. So similarly, you know, we have used website one. So it's just like a load balancer demo. So let's use the other one. So web server two, use it, copy. And it's same like load balancer demo server two. So this is the second server and that is the first server. So it's done. So once it is done, we have to create the load balancer, right? So let's go to the load balancer section under load balancing. So click that. So click create, click application load balancer, give the name. So let's start it as load server one. So basically we have two options, internet facing and uh, internal. So coming to the first one, internal facing load balancer routes a request from the client over the internet to the targets. Whereas the second one, an internal load balancer routes a request from the client to the target using the private IP address. So that is what the difference between these two based on your needs, you can select one. But in this case, since we are going with the internet facing, we'll be adding the first one. And the IP address type, there are two things, IPv4 and dual stack. So IPv4 is a traditional internet protocol version 4, which uses 32 byte address format. Whereas the dual stack is a load balancer, means that it supports IPv4 and the newer version, which is IPv6, which is 128 bit uh, address format protocols. So that is what it is. So basically dual stack means like it supports both uh, IPv4 and IPv6. Uh, since we are uh, using IPv4, we can just keep it as IPv4. And uh, coming to the listeners, so, it's like, you know, listener is like a ES uh, that uh, listens from the incoming traffic from the client. So they determine where to send those traffic, helping uh, distribute the traffic uh, to different servers for better performance and reliability. So it's HTTP. You can add uh, the other protocols as well, HTTPS and so on. But I can just remove this since we are going with HTTP and availability zone, select the VPC that you are using. 
So we only have one. So I'm just selecting one and selecting all uh, you know, availability zones. So once it is done, let's go to the next section, configuration, security groups. Let's go next. Here we'll be selecting the security group, uh, which is uh, six delete four, select that one, go next. And here add uh, target uh, group one. So since we are going to use instance, we are uh, selecting the instance or else uh, based on uh, you know your requirement, you can select the other one as well. So since we are using EC2 instances, we'll be uh, adding instance here and everything will be default, nothing to change. Next register targets. And here you see we have targets here. So we can just click and add to register. So we are basically adding these three web servers to these uh, targets. So that is what uh, I have created here. So we can see. So we have two web servers. So this is the one that we have created recently. So you just need to add it and uh, create it. So that is what I have created. So you can just click create. So we have created the load balances successfully. So it's in the provisioning state. Let's wait for that. And uh, once it is done, we'll be using the DNS name and uh, try to refresh it. So that, you know, let's, let's see whether uh, the traffic has been distributed evenly to do two different uh, servers, which is load balancing demo and load balancing demo server, uh, server one, sorry, server two. So let me, okay. Provisioning, let's click that, copied, and uh, let's wait for a few seconds. So everything is done here, listeners. Yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, copy and paste that. Uh, so the site can't be reached, so let's wait. Uh, few more minutes. So right now we can see it's active. So let's copy it again and let's open our incognito, copy paste. There you go. So we have reached server two, let's refresh it. There you go, you can see right now we have got a uh, load balance demo. So the traffic is being evenly distributed. So it's working, the load balancer is working fine. So I hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video, which is load balancing. So if you would like the video, please click the like button below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. And if you want to know about like more theoretical knowledge, you can also check my Medium channel and Instagram channel as well. So I'll be keeping that in the description for your reference. Thanks everyone.